Peter Carroll Walker, Talking Green. Hey, Fred, how are you? Good, I've got a balloon under you my do. desk. I'm here to talk about my never ending battle with plastics and wasteful products that Don't we have you in hate the community. It? I'm calling this segment Balloons Blow and Straws Suck. What's it all about? Okay, well, first of all, it's festival season, the time of commemorating joy and love and peace and, and all kinds of things. And what I often hear about are mass balloon releases. Now, I would like people and organisers to have a little bit of a think about it. When we release it into the air, does it go into heaven? Hmm. No. <laughs> I don't think the so. The angels take it away and in memory of the loved one that it Is goes off. Is that a off. trick question? Do you know what? When it's released, no, I don't think you should honour someone's life with the death of a turtle or a dolphin. Yep. I really don't think that's very honorary. What happens is it, the balloon companies are saying that they explode and tiny pieces of it disintegrate or go into different places where they don't really affect the atmosphere. They're now, these days, they're trying to make them from natural latex. Yes, natural latex is biodegradable. However, to make a balloon, they also add in a whole load of other chemicals. It's not biodegradable. It is eventually mm -hmm. degradable but it can take up months and years. And in that time, these can greatly affect the environment and many ecosystems. They can travel for hundreds of kilometres, reaching into our oceans, where they can be ingested by turtles, dolphins, and kill all animals. kinds of things. They are actually being, they've been reported to affect birds when they're in the sky. And you see, a lot of people wouldn't even know that. No, they don't. We don't think about it. So these ribbons here, even though we're making these now, apparently, you know, the the more decent ones from mm. biodegradable latex. This, this thick ribbon, this cord, this is very. This would take it, hundreds, it would thousands of down. years to break down. If you're a bird flying in a flock, this would affect you straight away. I actually have a picture I would like to show you. This Let's may offend some people. Um, this, this doesn't need to happen. This is a bird that's been affected by, a, you know, it seems like such a common happy thing. A balloon floating away with a string. However, it's been hit and, and taken down. This shouldn't happen. So what I want to say to people is think about it. When you are organising these, these mass releases, or if you hear about one being organised, can you rethink of something maybe a little bit more? <laughs> I'm you. letting it go. I'm <laughs> letting it go. Can we think of something? Let's, instead of, you know, killing the environment, why don't we organise a tree planting? You know, grow life rather than kill life. I think that's much more I sustainable. I use lanterns instead of Yeah, balloons. light a candle, yep. you know, blow bubbles if you need to blow things. I actually, I like the idea of, you know, when people um, pass away and, and the, the grave goes down, people, mm. the, the body goes down, people like to release balloons. That's mm. what's been said for a while, especially for someone young and vivacious who has passed away. Blow bubbles, I think that might be a better option. So we need to contact some funeral homes as well to get this to talk about. Yeah, because about. you know what, a lot of people do that for ceremonies, yeah, etc. They, they just let the balloons yeah, out. Yeah, and weddings, you know, I honour this love union with, you know, sacrifice of a whale. It doesn't make sense. Mm. And what I also want to discuss <laughs> is that helium, back. this isn't, this is filled by someone's happy lungs. Yeah. Helium is actually a non-renewable resource. I had no idea about this. Really? Helium is used in MRI machines, in space exploration and deep sea exploration and in helium balloons. It is a non-renewable resource. So that so means... So what does that mean? Tell that us. That means that it is a substance that is, has been created from the earth. It takes a long time to make it and once it's been used we don't have enough time to make it again we can't create it at this so stage. blow your own balloons <laughs> use your your lung air we don't need it. and the helium in it is what makes it float away so don't use helium so yeah in general balloons blow or if you're going to let balloons out into the air make sure you have one of those guns and shoot them down straight away <laughs> <laughs> and have someone collect all that debris yes. that's laying around that's yes it. thank you very much next up straws um, these are party paraphernalia, mm. such simple things, but they are greatly affected. Can you imagine how many of these little guys are being used? Thousands. Yes, millions. Thousands billions. and millions around okay, the world. Okay, so let's look at a straw. McDonald's. It's made from yeah, Big shakes. It's immediately put into drinks in bars, in fast yep. food stores. What you need to say, we need to get into the habit, is no straw, please. If every single person started doing this, there will no longer be a movement. And you're 100% right. I've just come back from Bali, and no matter whether you ask for it or not, every single drink comes with a it straw. It goes straight in there. Why do we need to suck it out of a straw? Mm. We've got these amazing mouths that can hold. We've got this hand. And, and Australians port. like to skull, so they can't skull <laughs> with a straw. You know? No, we you're do. right. You're 100% right. Well, this is made from plastic. Again, a plastic, it's a non renewable mm. resource. Plastic is fossil fuels, takes 300 million years to create this straw. And how long do you use it to go like this? Yeah, exactly. It's Kids gone. parties. And then McDonald's, how long does it sit in the environment? It's ridiculous. 
So we need to get into the habit. In children, adults, parents, whatever your function, no straws, please. This is what we need to say. This here is a um, this is a balloon holder. It's oh yes, I know what they yeah, are. They, Bring yeah, me the yeah. balloon, Adrian. He's going to just walk <laughs> over the balloon. Oh, thanks, Adrian. Nearly got it there. There we so go. So these would normally be at the end of the balloon. They like would, that. and these little fan dangles, and, you'd and then tie they them put them there. And yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I really I don't agree with it. However, I'm going to put up a whole load of information about this. If we can look onto the couch website. Yep. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to write up a whole big essay. If you click onto the segment guide yep. and you will see me smiling there. There's going to be information on balloons blow and straws suck. Pop, oh, put I an end. Sad balloons. Put an end to balloons, I say. Put come an on, end. Destroy. Get Destroy. in contact with your event organisers and say this isn't on. We do not sacrifice dolphins and turtles for the sake of these balloons. Let's plant a garden instead. Thank you very much, Fairy Cara. And we're going to listen you. to her because if she knows everything about the environment. Thecouch.com.au, click on her website and she's got everything there. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks, Fairy, for having me. And it's always nice to have a fairy in the studio. <laughs> well, we have a couple on the floor, but they're completely different fairies.